I think it's great. I think it's definitely like a good idea if you're like looking to get involved in the C++ industry to come, talk to the people, to meet everybody. Uh, you never know what can happen. So introverts speak. My name is Rudd. I'm an introvert. People come up, have come up to me and said, Rudd, you're an introvert, how can you talk? At various, at various times after I've given talks, it demonstrates a myth about what people think about introverts versus extroverts. Introverts and extroverts are different. We'll look at two differences between them. People energize, energize extroverts. My wife's an extrovert. If there's a new person in the room, she's a red-haired guided missile going to talk to them. If I get their life history in five minutes. People exhaust introverts. We'll go out on Friday night with some folks. We'll go out Saturday night with some folks. We'll go to church, and we got a very gregarious church, so there's a lot of talking. She wants to go someplace else, yeah! I said, I'm taking a nap. I'm exhausted. Extroverts speak to think, literally. Now, she's a PhD in English, so obviously does a lot of thinking and out speaking, but she'll come to me and say, I'm trying to figure this out. Let me talk to you about it. Introverts think to speak. You go into a meeting, manager says, we got a problem. All the extroverts start talking. The introvert's sitting back, listening to all this, thinking about it. The manager says, okay, we've made a decision. This is what we're going to do. Just as the introvert's ready to start, make a point. And sometime afterwards, all the extroverts come back and say, we got a problem. The introvert's sitting there thinking, yeah, I was going to tell you that, but you shut down the meeting before I could. Giving a talk doesn't require thinking. Huh? Preparing a talk requires thinking. When you get up here, I've rehearsed this thing 20 times in my head. I thought it through. I'm just regurgitating it energetically. Conferences need fresh speakers. There's a cadre. You'll see them at all the speakers, all the conferences. You'll see them on YouTube. But they can't cover all the talks. So they need others to come in and talk. Like myself this year, I've done two talks, but I'm new. They could be introverts. They should be introverts. Speech students, new developers, volunteer to overcome your hesitancy. Come to, contra, come to the conference as a volunteer. Work the registration desk. Amaze everybody at home. I met Herb Sutter. Well, you handed him his Lennard, L lanyard, you handed him his badge, and maybe the, the swag from the desk, but you met him. Volunteer to time the talks. You know, the person that sits there and says, you got five, 10 minutes left, five minutes less, Time to stop talking. I told her her Herb Sutter to stop talking. Um, by the way, who's Herb Sutter? I almost used Bjarni Strauss-Strauss, but I was afraid I would mispronounce his name. Speaking of a good doctor, you are not the oldest compiler writer in the room. I am. I'm two years older, and I wrote a pro compiler in Turbo Pascal that was basically basic, generated bytecode, that we sit, put into a uh, pipeline monitoring piece of equipment. So introverts, get up here and talk. You can do it. And extroverts, if you gotta, okay. Hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. And here's an introvert's door at Halloween. <laughs>